So this is where the magic happens. You're developing a startup from your bedroom. Yeah, yeah. Every day when I get back from home school, I open my computer and code for three hours. You can see algorithms hanging on the wall. It's a very fun thing to do. I love it. I know that it will succeed. I'm Yaniv Amon, I'm 15. I'm Eyal Goldberg and I'm 17. And we're the founders of Law Study. Most teens spend their free time hanging out with friends. But when Eyal and Yaniv aren't at school, they're busy developing an app and website that they say is going to change education as we know it. It's basically a school 2.0. Our generation is not suited to learn from textbooks. We have a lot of friends that prefer to learn from TikTok. So we created an app and a website that uploads every textbook in the world. And then every content creator or a teenager who likes to upload videos, they can turn every subject into a fun and engaging video. That makes it a lot easier for other teenagers to learn. When kids go on the app, they can search the topics that they want to study and find a database of unique videos. These teens think their app will become another version of TikTok, because when millions of kids around the world need to study, they'll be watching the fun videos uploaded on it. You say, go and speak to he or go and speak to him. him. Then your sentence should read, who should I speak to or to whom should I speak? You're welcome. Is this about the money for you? Do no. You Definitely not. So he doesn't want to be a millionaire, but it's not our priority right mm -hmm. now. I want to do something that will change the entire world and will make the world better. Even if Yaniv and Eyal may seem too young to be entrepreneurs, they're not alone. There's a growing movement of tech-savvy kids just like them who have figured out how to make millions before even graduating. There's Jenk Oz, who became the UK's youngest CEO at just eight years old. Use the hashtag big idea on your post so I can find you. Shubham Banerjee is the youngest entrepreneur to receive venture capital funding. At 12, he raised funds for his company, Brago. Cool. And there's even Michaela Ulmer, who negotiated an $11 million distribution deal with Whole Foods at the age of 11 for her honey-flavored lemonade. But as a kid, you're like, I want the ice cream and I'm gonna get the ice cream. But being young and successful requires hard work. Three times a week, I wake up at 4 a.m. I open the computer to finish what I didn't finish from the day before. I go to school around 7. I usually get home at 4. Then me and AI meet in, uh, at Zoom for about an hour. Then I have a course uh, of uh, AI, artificial intelligence. After that, I'm taking in another course of web development. I go to bed at around 10 and uh, start over. Between homework, Yaniv and Eyal have developed their entire app by scratch. But within a month, they could already get funding by the first ever Gen Z crypto-based investment fund. So basically, AppNext is a pitching app. It's a mobile app that enables every teenager in the world to pitch his startup ID in a short one-minute TikTok-style video. After startup pitch is being uploaded to the app, other users on the platform has the option to either upvote or downvote this idea. When users show support, they'll have a stake in a virtual asset of the startup. So if it succeeds, they even earn something out of it. Right now, Upnext has tens of thousands of users from over 20 different countries. The reason this is such a big deal is that mostly teenagers with good startup ideas would never be you know, taken seriously by investors. And in this case, they have a chance to get support from their peers and get started and become huge phenomena before they even pitch to an adult investor. Imagine having tens of thousands of people already wanting to use your app before you even launch. Now, Up Next is even offering funding through a unique NFT program. Right now, we're about to launch an NFT collection. We have a collection of 11,500 NFT figures. So these NFTs that we've created are basically digital trading cards, except this time, the faces are of teens and Gen Zs out there making waves amongst the startup community. We expect to raise millions of dollars through selling these assets, all going to support these Gen Z startups. We know that Gen Zers are about to shape our world. They are the most tech-savvy and entrepreneurial generation in the history. We want to give them a way to start with entrepreneurship when they're super young. 
this whole idea of startups helps me express myself because all the time I think of huge problems that needs to be fixed. I actually have a journal that I write uh, down every single idea that I have, every single problem that I can find. I like to solve problems.